What is up, friends, lovers, enemies of the state? Um, today, we are here for a little environmental video. I have my crunchiest, granola-iest new sweatshirt on. Um, and today, we're going to be talking about straws. I'm not free, but who wants to be? know this is coming a little late um and like you're probably like why the fuck are you transitioning into being an environmental channel but it's that um I wanted to film a video because I had my nails done um which is really the only time I ever film videos um so this is what we're doing before we get started you have to look at my nails you don't have a choice look at these bitches they're so cute my nail lady was like this is what we're doing and I was like, I mean, I came in here wanting something plain, but I guess you're right. We're finishing off a glass of wine and I don't fucking write scripts. I write tragedies. As I'm sure you're aware, because if you're on YouTube, you also have a Facebook. There's a problem with plastics in the ocean. Duh. Why is there a problem with plastics in the ocean? Because the wealthy world has a problem with waste. That's a whole other video. Right now, we're specifically talking about straws. So when I'm talking about our straw problem, I'm talking about the issue of single-use plastic straws. The problem with this is that it gets thrown into the ocean, um, and a lot of the times it can't be recycled because it's small. Most of the time it can only be recycled if it's in the lid of another um, thing. In the lid. If it's in the lid of whatever cup it was being used for. And there's no guarantee that then it's going to still get recycled. Like, you know, in Pittsburgh, which is where I currently live, you have to throw out a straw in the lid. And then it'll go into the recycling bin and probably get picked up by the recycling people. But then the problem is that Pittsburgh only has one recycling facility. So we don't have the capacity to recycle the amount of recycling that comes from the entire city. So like straight up, trying to recycle in Pittsburgh is worthless. We also then have the problem of if you're going to recycle in the first place, China's no longer buying our recycling. So is anything that we actually have getting recycled? The answer is honestly no, it's not. So then, if we have a problem with recycling because we have a problem with waste, we have to stop the waste that we're producing. So, great. There was that viral video with the fucking turtle choking that I never watched. Um, I've only heard about it. It's turtles choking because animals don't know about human inventions. So, then people were like, okay, let's buy and use durable plastics that can be used more than once. Um, and then that sort of pressure of doing that, changing those habits, got pushed onto the consumer, which I feel like I at least tried to make a video on in the past. I don't know if I actually did, but the producer-consumer relationship is made so that the consumer has a need to continue buying things. I could do a video on this later, and in fact, I probably will. Um, but the point I'm trying to make is that regardless, there's going to continue to be a surplus of plastic straws, single use and multiple use. So people were like, okay, metal straws because a lot of people conflated the idea of single-use plastic is bad, so that must mean that all plastics are bad. Um, okay, I see where you're coming from. So then manufacturers started producing steel straws. Is there probably a conspiracy behind this as to why stainless steel was the product that was chosen? I mean, I have no evidence for this, but I wouldn't doubt it. A lot of stainless steel straws are everywhere. That's generally like, if you talk to an environmental person, they're like, I have my stainless steel straw and like, I'm better than you because I have a stainless steel straw. But that's not the only option for straws. So we have 
durable multi-use plastic, we have stainless steel, and then we have the better option, which is bamboo straws. However, you don't know what your day is going to look like every single day when you leave the house. You know, you might not have a bag with you and then you end up at Starbucks. You know, you might not have your utensil set with you or your straw set and then you end up at a Starbucks or TGI Fridays or some shit. I don't know where you go. I don't know what you do with your life. But if you're going to co go to those places, the implication through those videos and through greenwashing is that you, the consumer, are the one who's supposed to be providing your own reusable straw. And that's just not right. That's just not fucking right. Ideally, in an ideal world, all restaurants would have switched by now to paper straws. Dissolvable fucking paper straws. They feel kind of weird because we're used to plastic ones, but they're literally fine. They're fine. They're honestly the better option because they kind of degrade while you're using them. They become this mush and they are very, very easily recycled or just fucking mashed into a pulp. It's easier to deal with the disposal of paper straws than it is to deal with the disposal of literally any other kind of straw. The reason it's difficult to deal with the disposal of straws in general is their shape and their size and the fact that they really have very little surface area so there's nothing really to recycle. This is about why stainless steel straws are bad. Now that you're on the same page as me, or at least you know what I'm talking about, which is that paper straws are ultimately the better single use product and that bamboo is the better um, reusable product because bamboo is really, really quick to grow. Um, and in general, technically, yes, it is better than paper um, because trees take a long time to grow to then produce paper, whereas bamboo you can grow in like a few years and then you can turn that into a product. I personally bought a bamboo utensil set, but I also know that as someone who's a normal fucking person, I don't plan out my whole day to be like, I'm going to be a responsible environmentalist and have my fucking utensil kit with me every day or to have it all clean every day. That's just not how life works. Um, and I'm very much against putting all of the responsibility of being an environmental and green person on the consumer. I think that that is unfair and I think that that is a tactic of greenwashing. Um, and in a consumerist capitalist society, if the idea is that because we have choice, we have to be making the better choices. But the reality is that we have less choice than we think we have. So in situations where we really don't have a choice at all, like in IHOP, where they give you either a plastic straw or you don't use a straw at all, they should be providing us with better options, meaning a paper straw, because it's unfair for disabled people to cut out the straw totally. And also because you should know as a consumer that um, if IHOP is putting a plastic straw down at your table, they're gonna bust that straw later and that straw is gonna go into the trash. That straw is not going to be reused. So you're not doing anyone a favor by not using that straw that's on the table. I'm not gonna talk about bamboo straws anymore. Just, this is what I have to live with. I'm not going to talk about bamboo straws anymore because they are like really and truly you just take the bamboo and then you whittle it down to be a straw shape and it's really fucking easy and it's clearly a very, very good, very simple option. So I'm going to talk about the more complicated options, which are durable plastics and stainless steel. So what plastic is actually made out of is petroleum. Petroleum is gasoline, basically. It's oil. It's what we got from, it's what we get from fossils in the fucking ground and we turn it into gasoline for our cars and we also turn it into plastics. Um, and by virtue of it coming from petroleum and it being made out of fossil fuels, it then creates greenhouse gases when it's produced. This is not something that's addressed even at all in these fucking turtle choking videos, okay? The idea is that by creating these durable plastics, we're going to be saving the turtles, okay? But with global warming, the turtles are gonna die anyway. So what we need to do is now consider 
the production of these things. I think a lot of the time when we think about waste, we're like, oh, well, these things just kind of appear in our lives and we use them and then we throw them out. And like, why are we throwing them out? Where are we throwing them out? How can I throw out less? But what about the production of these things? This is something that we don't talk about nearly enough and it's extremely important. This is why I'm talking about this in this video. Um, plastics, petroleum, produces greenhouse gases, very, very bad. That is mostly, it mostly produces CO2 when you're making plastics. So then we have stainless steel. And as someone who lives in Pittsburgh, I have a lot to say about stainless steel and all steel in general. Steel in its like most unrefined form is coal, which honestly shook me when I first learned um, and still shakes me because for some reason my brain is dumb and I didn't fucking make the connection. Where do you make steel? In Pittsburgh. I know. We're doing this for you. Um, I'm sure it's made other places. I don't know that much about where it's made. I know more about like the effects. The biggest problem with coal production, well, turning coal into steel, which is called coking, um, you coke the coal uh, at coking plants, which there are several in Pittsburgh. I actually just wrote an article um, about uh, really horrific health impacts um, from coking coal in Pittsburgh. I have that link below and I'm not gonna go on about it anymore. So, coking coal, then it becomes steel. In this process, you have to heat the coal up very, very high. So, when you heat up coal, similarly to um, the process of plastics, you produce CO2. However, you are also producing volatile organic compounds, VOCs. These are also in paint. I just know that. Um, but these VOCs are also like particulate matter, which used to be like bigger particulate matter, um, which if you've seen any pictures of what Pittsburgh used to look like, it was like you would have to go to, if you were a man and you went to work, you would have to have a change of clothes because you would get dirty um, walking to the bus station um, just from walking in the air. The air is there around us and it would get you dirty. You'd have to change your clothes when you got to work. And then when you would come home, you'd be so dirty that you had to shower in the basement of your house. So that's why Pittsburghers have weird ass toilets and bizarre basements with bathrooms. Um, if you, you can look up the Pittsburgh toilet. It's very funny and I've seen many houses with these toilets. We here no longer have such intense, large particulate matter making it as dirty. We have much more of like the smaller ones. Um, and so because of that, we still have issues with um, higher asthma rates, higher lung cancer rates, shit like that. You should look into what's going on with the steel production industry. They're extremely corrupt. They are not to be trusted. They're investing a billion dollars into um, US Steel's coke works in order to make their facilities co-generation facilities, meaning that they're taking the extra energy that they're producing and turning that into electricity to then sell to people rather than using less than a billion dollars. The estimates are about 400 million to make their facilities up to code, but they won't do that. So what I'm saying is when you're purchasing these straws that every bitch on the planet is telling you, you gotta buy, you have to really take into consideration how is what I'm buying being made? Basically what I wanna say is that these three individual items cost about the same amount as a consumer if you're going to go out and buy your own reusable products. I highly urge you to not use steel um, and I hope that um, editing me has included a ton of fucking graphics because there's so much information on this and I really think it needs to be put out in a video just comprehensively. Um, editing me is half-assing it. You should be buying bamboo if you can. It's much better for the environment. It's much better for people's health and it's much better ethically because steel production is horrible. It's better to buy bamboo than to buy durable plastics 
and durable stainless steel. However, stainless steel is the bottom fucking rung. You should not buy a stainless steel straw. You're wasting your money. You're supporting a bad industry. Um, I don't think that this is going to have an impact on this industry. Um, I think they're just cashing in on something easy for them to make money off of. And I don't think your purchase is really going to have that much of an impact. But I do think if you are want to feel the best you can about your purchase, I highly urge you to do bamboo. Um, but ultimately, the change that needs to be made is that restaurants and drink shops and wherever else you're going to be using a straw should be providing you with a paper straw. They shouldn't be using single-use plastics. That's going to be banned in like more and more states across the union as it's already happening in the West. So just switch to paper straws. It's about the same cost. It's a better option. And as a consumer, don't feel bad for using a plastic straw because sometimes that's your only option. I hope that this video made sense. Um, I, if you want to know my credibility, I have a bachelor's degree in environmental politics, environmental policy, whatever. I wrote my own degree and took a lot of classes in econ, in poli sci, in environmentalism, um, in sustainability. Took a lot of classes in sustainability. So basically that is most, if not all of the information that's out there that you would need. Um, if you want anything else, I'm sure I will be looking at the comments and can help you get to more information as is needed. So I thank you so much for watching this video, for sitting through my rant about why you should and shouldn't purchase certain products and why we aren't responsible as consumers because the whole economy is built against us. Thank you so much for watching. You can support me in all of my links down below. That includes reading what I write. Patreon would be great. Um, and I have two podcasts that are now on Spotify. So down below. Thank you so much for watching. What do I usually say? Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Oh, mamma mia, here I go again.